Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood. We get another video, today's video, back by popular demand, I am over at John's Corn Crib, you know, uh, Nate's partner, John, and uh, I had a lot of questions yesterday, or uh, in the last year from the Corn Crib, and they filled the whole thing up, and I'd say right now, right now he's got about, what, what do you think, John, one third maybe, loaded? Maybe third. And you can see in here, it's got this uh, hollow tube in there that runs up and top and the air just flow. He says you could just feel it flowing through when, when you're way up in there uh, stacking it. So you just kind of go in circles like this then, John. Yep. Okay, and uh, he, he, I guess he split this out in the woods. Most of, most of this was split by hand. And I, I, he said it's about 98% oak. Now I do see some hickory and some cherry and he said there was some uh, beech in there too, John. Yeah, okay and uh the the wood that you took out of here last year when you sold it and it and uh it was all it felt all nice and dry to you yeah even the, even the green stuff even the greens the stuff that went in green now some of this was stuff is semi-season yeah, tops, tops that, that were on the ground, yeah, they were on the ground all last year. okay let me uh, i'm gonna take you around this while uh this time of year there isn't all the underbrush and just to, so you can get a get a gander at it here you can see uh, and i think that's about it's seven feet up to to that first uh, post there so that would make this thing about what 14 foot tall john 12 or 13 and uh <clears throat> i can show you more here in the back and give you the back side view of it but you can see it's out here in this field there's no shade around and uh the, like I say, on a windy day, it'll come through here. If it rains, you know, the only the only pieces that get get rain on there is the these outside pieces, which also get the sun. And with this being um, April 10th today, 2023, what's your goal to what have this filled up by, John? Well, I don't have Nate helping now, but well, he's, he's filled. Working. Oh, Nate's Nate's uh, working right now. So between he'll he'll help you though. Yeah, I'll get them He'll he'll get them out and help it. But usually my goal my goal is to have everything everything filled up uh, that I'm going to sell in the fall by uh, the end of May, so I can have a full full summer. Goes a crotch rocket, but uh, see John doesn't mess around, and he he was just out here on his uh, his tractor over there. What, what were you doing out there with that? Get uh, tilling the field. Yeah, I was going to get. Oh, okay. But, but in the center part, what you have to do is start kind of falling away because you're, you're stacking in a circle and you just put a little piece there to level it yep. up. So you shim it. That's yeah, what I call shim it. Shim it. You put shim these, see, he's putting these shims on here. You see that? Because it does fall away from there on the center and that just keeps it level because. The outer rows, both outer rows aren't a problem. The, but yeah. The center row, especially, it kind of yep. wants to fall away. Then we Fa get this. We get this up into the doorway, moving this way, and then we shut this door. Okay. We uh, showed them the screen. There. Okay, yeah, yeah. They got when they start getting up in there higher, this screen they cut cut this open. They actually go up there on a ladder, and so does like one person throw them up? Does Nate throw them up to you, or you throw yeah, them up to him? Throw, one person throws the other stack. One person throws and one stack. Throw a whole bunch in there, and, and then go up and, and stack it. Throw a whole bunch in there, then both go in and, and, and then uh, stack it around the backside. Well, um, I'll definitely have to uh, have to come back when you, when you're to that stage again because, like I say, this has been a pretty uh, pretty popular video. Now, you, so you can do it right where you've been walking in at then. But you, you, so you usually start with the outside row yeah, and go and do a circle. Oh, okay, and the back. So leave the doorway open. We'll let you sit in here with a tire, and we'll split. Split oh. wood right in the in the building until we get it full. Okay. It outside, and when you stack in the circle like that, you'd be amazed how how sturdy that stack is. Oh, it did. It's, you it's, can't it's, knock it over. Can't knock it over. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it'd be nice to do it. it what we should do is have a, like a time lapse video for like a out here for six months while it takes you to fill it so you can see it gra yeah, gradually empty. build up up in there. And gradually empty it. And gradually empty it. Yeah. It, it, and that's what they do. They'll uh, when they start unloading it, and uh, the video that you've seen, he'll, he'll back his uh, dump trailer right under under this this hole in here, and they'll climb up in there and then just throw it into the dump trailer. 
until they get down to, you know, to that level. And then they'll open this up and pull it out from there. But John's a, now I, I know John likes stacking as much as me, but you're doing a, you're doing a really good job. Normally Nate is a, is a really a, a good stacker and obsessed with it. You know, of having it a certain way, yeah. but, uh, and these pieces, you can see it, it, what makes the stacking a lot uh, nicer is all these straight pieces. And he's gotten split, I would say, a little bit on the smaller side, but that is like perfect. It, it'll help it do the help drying faster, it's, you know, especially with it being all oak. Now he's got some of these oddball bigger pieces back here. You have an outdoor wood boiler, don't you, John? Yeah. Okay. And so he, he's like that, that piece there, kind of like what I do. These ones you can't turn into nice straight pieces. It all burns and it'll feed his boiler, like that one there too, so. This is all top, so there's pieces uh, oh, left over. Oh, this is. The log and laying in the dirt. Oh, okay, so you had it logged out yeah. and that they left the tops out there for you? Yeah. Okay. They got all these pieces that are kind of oddball split up. And yeah. Laying in the dirt. Yep. Pieces. Yep, so I see there's more, it looks like there's more hickory in that pile over there. Are we gonna split that up out oh, here too? Uh, a smoker? Yeah, a smoker customer we got. You got a smoking customer? Okay, that's awesome. Yep. They had a third day. Oh, oh, they're starting up a business? Well, they haven't started it this spring. Oh, okay. They, they just were do it. They last fall into the winter, but then they quit, quit buying. Oh, okay. They okay, they just uh, basically a uh, nice weather type uh, deal. But yeah, that, if they run a restaurant, I don't know what they do in the winter. Oh, okay. All right, but yeah, that too, but that is just really neat. I just wanted everybody to see that too, so we can get in here. Cause like when you first unload it, when I filmed you unloading it, it was already up to the top. So he'll get that. I'll come back here again. And uh, once they get more in here, he, John, they're only, he's only like 10 minutes away from me at the most. So I'm very impressed. And I know everybody's going to like this, John. And thanks for uh, calling me, invite me over here to check this out. I really appreciate it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap things up. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up, guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See you later, John. See you.